breach of a fire alarm in the middle of the night, but it's happened and someone reacting to that sound in this case may have helped save two families living in a Waterloo duplex. Here's the situation. The big fire broke out in the 400 block of Center Street at about 1 o'clock this morning. As you can see, smoke is billowing out of the top of that duplex. KWW reporter Taylor Bailey earlier today talking with one of the people who lives there, a man who lives in that home. And Taylor joins us live right now from the scene of the charred duplex. What did you find out, Taylor? Ron, everyone was able to make it out okay, but tonight, two families are homeless. You got to run through there. We got to get out of here. Two families escape as their home goes up in flames. When I got down to the steps, I, 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 you couldn't even see the steps. The smoke was so thick. I, I, I had a hard time getting down them steps. And then when I seen the, I got down to the bottom of the steps and the doorway was just in flame. Michael Crum says he didn't hear a fire alarm, but he did wake up too. And that's when I heard somebody banging on the door. And then I opened the door and it was the lady downstairs said that she couldn't get it out. And then my, my roommate, David, he went down the stairs behind her. And then he came running back up and told me to call the fire department because the house was on fire. Michael says he is thankful for his downstairs neighbors, saying the fire started in the front bedroom here. And his bedroom is right above that, saying without his neighbors, he wouldn't have known to get out. So I'm glad she was home because, uh, yeah, otherwise, I mean, I heard the dog, but I, I got up to see what he was, he was raising hell about. And then that's when I, oh, we heard her banging on the door. Crumb says looking at the home today is heartbreaking, reminding him of what he lost. It's a mess. It's all, the, the walls are all charcoal. You know, I, I had paintings and, and um, pictures and everything on the wall. You can't even tell. You can see where the squares were, but that's it. So, yeah, I'm going to have to replace a lot of stuff. And Crum says he was taken to the hospital and treated for burns. He says his girlfriend was also treated for some burns after running out of the house barefoot. Live in Waterloo, Taylor Bailey, News 7, KWWL. Our great news. They're safe tonight, Taylor. Thanks for the update. Now